More than 60 women engineers and engineering students arrived at the Cooper Union's Green Engineering Camp in New Jersey on May 27, 1950 for a two-day meeting. Coming from loosely organized groups on the East Coast, their goal was to organize a unified, long-lasting national organization to support and advance women in engineering. These founding members elected the society's first president, Beatrice Hicks, and began establishing the framework for a National Society of Women Engineers. One of the final motions passed during the meeting was to name SWE's first honorary member, Lillian Moeller Gilbreth, Ph.D. In addition to business meetings, SWE's founding meeting also included panel discussions and guest speakers who offered advice on professional development and being a woman as well as an engineer. When not in meetings and sessions, Camp Green attendees played baseball and badminton, had a picnic, and toured the grounds. Doris McNulty recalled a Camp Green cabin fire drill in which, in the wee small hours of the morning, a blaring bugle arose us from our slumber and chaperones commanded us to slide down the escape rope and our PJs to the dew-soaked grass 20 feet below. Mm -hmm.